Hello everyone. Welcome to the solutions to the problems from chapter 5 of the book Cost Benefit Analysis Concepts and Practice by Boardman, Greenberg, Vining and Weimer. The team is Suvranil and Adam. In the first problem, government wants to increase the toll from 40 cents to 50 cents. Since the marginal cost of using the highway is constant, an increase in toll would shift the supply curve vertically upwards. The dead weight loss resulting from this increase is represented by the red region on the graph and is equal to $250. The yellow shaded region is the increased revenue received from the reduced number of vehicles and is equal to $4,500. This is viewed as a transfer to the government and is not a surplus. In the second problem, we have been provided with the demand and supply elasticity at equilibrium. Using that, we can compute the quantity demanded after import fee is imposed to be 5.8 billion barrel per year, a reduction of 0.2 billion barrel. The resulting domestic production is 3.25 billion barrel per year, an increase of 0.25 billion barrel. Therefore, the imports now fell to 2.55 billion barrel per year. The resulting increase in producer surplus is 93.75 billion per year and the resulting decrease in consumer surplus is 177 billion. The tax revenue generated from the import fee after administrative cost is 76.25 billion per year. Taking all these into account, the net benefit turns out to be a negative 7 billion per year. Now how does the net benefit change if the government collects 20% of producer surplus as taxes? and the marginal excess tax burden is 25%. In this scenario, the change in producer surplus is $75 billion per year, while the consumer surplus remains constant. The tax revenue increases to $95 billion per year. The net gain to taxpayers is $23.75 billion per year. The net benefit to the project is now $16.75 billion per year. Till now, we were assuming that the import fee only affects domestic prices and doesn't affect the global prices. However, if the imports affect global prices and it falls to $80 per barrel from $90 per barrel, the resulting net benefits will shift. Using similar calculation as before, we can estimate the quantity consumed after fee imposition to be 5.867 billion barrel per year and the domestic production to be 3.167 billion barrel per year. The imports would drop slightly compared to previous scenario and would be at 2.7 billion barrel per year. The producer surplus will increase by 61.67 billion dollars per year and the consumer surplus will reduce by 118.68 billion dollars per year, a lower shift than before. The resulting tax revenue is 80.75 billion dollars per year and the net social benefit is now. $23.74 billion per year, which is a reversal from earlier scenario. If the government collects 20% of producer surplus as taxes, then the resulting net benefits increases to $47.01 billion per year. That concludes the problems of chapter 5. We will be back soon with a new chapter. See you then.